Onslaught Middle School principal Jim Rages says although he dreams of having his school rebuilt from the ground up and pushed back away from the busy highway, the reality is that a facilities capital action plan that surveyed all the island schools recommends the Barragata campus only be renovated. If I could give the wish list per se versus what really needs to happen, um, of course a full demolition and the reason for that is current facility in its, in its state would have minimal wiggle room. Sidexo Services Guam Inc. Senior Project Manager Tracy Higuera says the Ontolan renovations will cost $3.2 million, but expects the price could go up, depending on findings from a structural engineer. Upon visual inspection, it does seem that the permanent structure is structurally sound and something that you can renovate. According to Guam Economic Development Authority's Administrator Carl Pengelinen, Gita is working at creative financing vehicles that don't count towards the island's debt ceiling in order to fund these upcoming projects. In the situation analysis as of today, we all know what um, Gulf Guam finances are and the state of Gulf Guam finances are and that we're, <coughs> we're already at capacity in terms of our, our, our debt limit, um, in terms of borrowing new money to, to build new schools. Um, so, you know, that said, um, you know, the governor's desire, again, is uh, number one, to, to pay for all the unpaid tax refunds. Um, so with that, I mean, if, if we're looking at maxing out the debt capacity, um, we need to think way outside of the box in terms of how do we uh, finance, how do we refurbish, build, rebuild, or, or rehabilitate um, existing schools. The options include federal tax credits, which give developers access to capital that Gita purchases, mixed-use financing, which allows the school to operate in the day, but as something else in the evening hours to provide additional revenue, and energy efficiency financing, because DOE is the second largest consumer of power on island. The cost savings that you realize from retrofitting uh, a lot of these, uh, this hardware, uh, will be used toward the debt service, and, uh, and after 10 years, that's when you start seeing some return on investments. Governor Eddie Cavill's Director of Communications, Troy Torres, says the governor is making DOE his top priority as none of these strategies have been applied to any other agency. The priority that Ida is placing on DOE because the strategies he just outlined are new strategies that are not being applied elsewhere. This is going first to the Department of Education. Aside from funding, Mayor Melissa Savars hopes the task force will not only help the students, but the families these students come from in efforts to reduce dropout rates. If we can help the families uh, grow and then get the skills that they need, possibly with the work keys or the GED adult high school programs, then they would feel better about helping their children. And it's going to, you know, to open up the, the maybe uh, the library for these cross, uh, programs to happen in the evenings. We're, we're helping the children, the schools are helping the children during the day. But what can we do to help the families also excel?